Hey guys, this is Blake from Blake Sanctum, retro site for retro games. Welcome to my Let's Play Legends of Pegasus series. If this is the first video you're watching in the series, then I'll point out that some of these missions took me 5 to 10 hours to complete, so I'll fast forward through all the boring micromanaging and grinding bits. If you really want to see what I was doing in those bits, just use the YouTube speed controls to slow down the video when you need to. Let's play. Here we go guys, the last mission in the game, and I can say with certainty now, this is the last mission, because uh, I've done a test run. So we are finally here guys, and this is a big one, Soon a will big see my mission. Were correct. We've become vulnerable by opening the jump gate, and we still don't know what's expected to be a to overcome. with the Confederation. How far has their technology advanced? How many ships do they command? But most importantly, is there enough time to thwart their plans? Based on the new information on the Master Controller, we can't wait any longer. With its completion, all of our hopes would be destroyed with one blow. The tribes of the Arthrox have allied with you because we are aware that the Confederation will destroy everything like a plague as soon as they are allowed to expand unchecked. We are ready. We can come close to our target by using a wormhole, but I don't know how we're supposed to remain undetected in the process. One of the guilds is supplying construction material for the controller. They've been working undercover for the Resistance for a while. With some persuasion, I can convince them to do a reconnaissance flight. Parallel to an offensive, it will be necessary to defend the jump gate. That's already been arranged. Nathan Craig will watch our backs during the attack. Then, it's decided. We will initiate the attack on the Confederation, and finally free the humans and the Zor from the Sovereign Drex. Oh, it's all happening, guys. It's all happening. End of the game. So look at this. They're giving us quite a few starting ships here. We've got a bit of a fleet, and we're going to need it to... Uh, not because we get attacked. How can we In fact, we hardly ever get attacked. It's another one of those kind of easy missions. Look at these battleships we've been uh, given for our main characters. But uh, It's a relatively easy mission, but, um, but we're going to need those ships to actually do some tasks that progress the mission and free up more systems for us to colonize and we're going to need every planet we can get because look at this i mean god we've our starting system is nearly all gas giants which is very annoying so we've got like one planet we can take there we're going to need to take every planet we can because there's a big annoying bug slash problem in this game i'm pretty sure it's not deliberate yeah, not great starting colonies, but uh, I'll get to it more in a sec, but you'll notice the officer count is at 580, meaning we're not going to be able to build a single ship unless we exploit a little bug of our own, which I've discovered. Oh, yep, so that's uh, going to be a good sort of money-making planet, hopefully, that one. So there's three systems we've got access to at the moment. First mission is to get Keeley to the Krogal, which is uh, in one of, connecting to one of these systems. to... let me see... are those normally at 20%? They seem like they're in a different position to usual. I don't know. I should have investigated that. So we want to... Uh, yeah. We're no research for the moment. Um, even though we've got lots of starting money, which is a rarity, uh, we're, it's not a priority right now. We're going to need our money for other things. We must expand. We absolutely must expand at the fastest rate we can. We'll go for terraforming as it's the last mission, so let's make lots of sexy ocean worlds. We appear to be tech level 8, pretty much, with everything. Ooh, planetary shields. Looking forward to showing you guys those ones. For the, uh, the Arthrox version, I should say. So, we're going to do a few things, but we're going to be very careful what we do with this capital, though. And I'll explain more in a sec, because um, we're going to need the building slots to build some very special ships that are going to get us out of this mess we're in. So there's a few junk buildings. We don't need research right now. We don't need the bloody sharing thingo building. We don't need yeah. We'll build two in industrial buildings in a minute. Got to get the culture up. And we are our other planet is as usual. They've given us quite an abundance of happiness buildings and uh, terraforming salts, but they appear to be upgraded as well. So you know there's there's uh, too much happiness going on here, but um, so those are what yeah, cortexes, and this is these are collectives. So we're up to collective tech level. So we may as well replace these cortexes with collectives, the best housing thing in the game. Which so that allows us to make lots of money. So we need 
take advantage of the fact that we've got lots of starting money and try and get ourselves to get this planet to be a money-making planet as quickly as possible to support everything else we're doing. Of course, we're suffering the usual first-term bug where everything gets blanked out. But we're counting on this bug for the moment. Uh, the first turn where nothing works properly is actually going to allow us to exploit a problem in the game. Uh, because those 580 officer slots have not kicked in yet. Like, we can actually build ships this turn. If we let it go one turn, then we're stuffed. We won't be able to build a single ship and we'll be bottlenecked for the rest of the game. Yeah. Pump that up, get it as quickly as possible. Right, so. Need a, uh, yeah, we haven't got enough to buy the tissue generator, I mean, sorry, enough industrial power to get the tissue generator quickly. So we need to, yeah, that'll have to be the best we can do right now, because we're going to need the other slots to build special ships. So look at that, 580. So to overcome that, now I believe, sorry, I, sh I should explain why. I believe it's caused by this over here. Look at this. You can actually see some of the home Earth systems, the where Drex is and everything. And for some reason, we've been given this huge fleet of human ships. I don't think that's meant to happen because at the end of this mission, heaps of people join you for your final strike against Drex. You know, think Babylon 5 where it's all, you know where they're going against um, the evil president, where everyone's getting together at the end, you know, to, for one big strike. And I don't think you're meant to get given these guys at the start. So I'm going to get rid of some of them to at least soften the blow. But the plan I'm going to show you guys, I think will allow you to keep all the ships if you wanted to. Yes, but, sir. you know, personally, I see no point. I'll keep the battleships, but that's it. You know, I, I get the feeling forward. you're not meant to get these ships at the start and that this is a bug. Um, unless they really deliberately want to bottleneck you because the game does give you lots of free ships at the end, but all the free ships are crap. I'd rather go in with a fleet of Arthrox ships. So, see how we've got a medium shipyard. So, we are limited in the kind of ship size we can build, but what I'm going to build is a super colonizer and a super planetary troop ship. These ships will allow us to bag a huge amount of colonies. So, you know, we can't build a battleship though. It has to be a cruiser. That's the biggest ship we can build from a medium shipyard. So I'm going to absolutely kit out this cruiser size with as many colony modules and stuff as I can because basically I've found in my test game there's about 14 colonies, enemy colonies, near your starting area that you can capture. And make and give yourself some instant officer spots and and population. And there's also a lot of planets. Like this map has the most planets of any mission. Um, it's insane how many planets. We don't get access to all them at the start though. But what we need to do is we need to colon be able to colonize every planet we see until we've overcome that officer slot bottleneck. And once we've done that, we can start building regular colony ships and go colonize the rest of the available galaxy and then that will allow us to build a huge fleet of Arthrox ships. So I've put on the um, essential system so now I'm going to put in as many colonization modules as I can. Three, so that's as good as we get. So we'll get nine research um, thingos as well to match it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So we matched this. We just put on some extra power now. Because we've only got, like I said, we've only got about three slot build slots left on our home world. So we have to make these ship. you know, we've got to build the biggest, best colony ships ever. So I'm calling it the heavy colony research ship. To so Because we can only build three more ships. That's it. After that, we hit next turn and we're completely bottlenecked. Now, since our troop ship's going to be a very similar design, I'm not starting a fresh new one. I'm just going to clear out some modules and then I'm going to fill it with troops slots. Remember, 
as like in previous missions, don't waste your time with the large invasion module because it's only good for one strike and the enemy colonies never have any troops on them. So, lots of tiny modules. We want to have 14 on here. Because I'm pretty sure, I did do a count, and hopefully I haven't already forgotten it, but I'm pretty sure there were 14 total colonies you can steal from uh, Drex. So where well, that's not enough, uh, we'll have to get rid of something and rearrange. There we go. We'll get the power back in these slots. It looks like we'll have an extra slot to uh, put something in. I guess we'll just put another shield or something. Yeah, that works. Alright. So that's our heavy troop transport. And as you can see, you know, I've left a few colony modules on there so that we can still, you know, like, got to use every space available. So we'll colonize a few planets with this, capture a whole lot of planets with it, and, uh, you know, yeah. Overcome this horrible officer slot bug or deliberate game feature that I've overcome. I don't know. <laughs> You'd have to ask Novacore. Was it deliberate? There we go. Troop transport and two colony ships. Sorry, three. Yeah, I'm messing up my count. Yeah, four. So yeah, we can build four ships. Which is good, because three wouldn't have been enough. Dumbass. I think that's everything we can do for this uh, first turn. Oh yeah, I've got to move my ships. Uh, so, um, oh, yeah, I'm on the wrong side of the galaxy. We need to set course. For noon nine, I think that's where I want to go with my fleet to uh, kick off the whole Krogul master controller storyline thing. I want one ship to go do some scouting in other systems, though, so you can head off to New Five. And I think that's now everything for the first turn. I think all our prep is done. There's a lot of work there, but you know this is the last mission, and there's a lot of stakes, so we've got to get it right. Stuff's happening. I can hear you. Don't speak. Answer me in thoughts. Where are you? I'm on the bridge of my research ship. I can understand you clearly, much more than the last time. Are you that close? I'm still in the Arthrox territory, but my abilities to use the hive grow with each day. John, it's becoming more dangerous for us. The system where Susan was hiding has been destroyed by Drex. Don't worry, Andre. Kassara managed to evacuate the population in Susan in time. You won't have to hold on for much longer. Does that mean you're attacking soon? We're going to destroy the Master Controller before it's completed, and then fight our way system by system until we get to New Earth. The Resistance is prepared to follow me into battle. Give us a sign, and we will be by your side. Fly with Keeley to the Krogel and System New 9. Alright, we're already on our way. Colony. They don't use it. Like Look at the ships order. they've got. And I think this is the first time we've seen Krogel ships in the campaign. Rather odd looking, aren't they? Got some weapons on them. Yeah, look at that. Lots of destroyers. Practically useless though compared to the kind of things we want to build. Mm, Drex Zor colony. That'll be alright once it's terraformed.
What do we need to do for you to help us get information about the construction of the Master Controller? In this fight, we stand on the same side, but we are no warriors. If the attack on the Master Controller should fail, we will need an escape route. If you destroy the defensive fortifications in the neighboring system, we can leave Confederation territory without larger battles. That is our condition. Destroy units of the Confederation system, Omega-1. So that's why we set the fleet this way. Because our starting fleet is enough to get the job done. I forgot to have a peek at the enemy colony and show you guys. So yeah, it's another one of those bloody blue under construction bugged colonies that actually has no people. Well, that one's not too bad, is it? That's terrible. So yeah, in the end we'll end up having to probably destroy it and recolonize it because it's useless. Bugged. planets. One's a gas giant. Nice. Alright. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Go check out that in-between system, New 7. Alright, we've arrived. In the Drex Zor Confederation controlled Omega One. Look at all these enemy planets and stations. A few ships. But as you can see, nothing compared to our starting fleet, so it's no danger. And uh looking forward to getting to this system with our heavy troop ship. I think I'll start the battle Overriding here. Protocol. Command accepted. Position change in progress. Protocol change imminent. Protocol switch. Registering channel. Standing ready. Eradication program complete. Target is down. I repeat, target is down. And I never even had to come drop down to impulse power. Mm -hmm. This power is listening. Hurry up, Daniels. Let's go. The other ship will catch up to us and we'll blast it while we're on our way to the station. Oh god. What can we forgot do about you, Keasley. You're even slower. <laughs> Good god. Order received and understood. Target has been destroyed. Station will be blown up before Keasley even gets there. We were able to destroy an enemy unit. I thank you for your support. Keasley, sorry, Keasley. Are we on schedule? It's getting close. 
We need to set out now to avoid suspicion. Send Keeley to the jump gate to New 4 and in system New 6. Sir? Alrighty. Where's New 6? Executing protocol for jump. Hmm. Drexel. Colonies. Another crappy blue one. Are they on their way? I can't quite. Oh no, they are. It's just so bright the can't quite see the uh, the travelling animation. Alright, you can go back and meet the others now that you've gone to this system. So what did you find though? So lots of planets. Very nice. Not bad. Terraform these. Big planets into something very nice. They're all pretty big planets, aren't they? So they may not look that great at the moment, but we'll make them something great with terraforming. Slowly coming along. Alright, so we need to get up all to the jump gate where Keeley should take off from the next part of the mission. Of course. Move protocol engaged. We have bred a new stationary organism. There we go. She's just vanished off my list. Keely has returned from her covert operation to the Zor Master Control and is waiting in system new I've 6. I've got some information, Jonathan. The orbital defenses are strong, but the fleet there is small. Thank you, Susan. Transmit the collected data to all of our allies. If we factor in the help of neighboring systems, we still need to count on a large assembly of opponents. Maybe we can hope for additional support. Mm hmm. So she should be back now. Yep, I can see her name in the list there. There you are. Put her back over there. Move Ramos on a strong fleet. And the attack against the Master Controller. Jump going to two. All right, we it's time to take down the Master Controller. We have understood, and are now moving towards the jump gate. This Haran is listening. We have arrived. Look at all this. As you wish, we are moving out. To all ships of the Resistance, after Trip many ship. setbacks and losses, we are finally ready. The Arthrox, the Delta Zor, and the humans will be entering the battle side by side. Not just for our freedom, but the freedom of all living beings who suffer in our new home under the oppression of the self-appointed Sovereign. Together, we will return the peace that you have all so longed for. Kess. What is it, Jack? If something unexpected happens, if I should die in the attack, you're not going to die, John. You're surrounded by friends who are prepared to do anything for you. Together, we'll make it out of here. I wish I had your optimism. We believe in you, John. I believe in you. Kes, I... I know. Oh. Destroy the Master Controller. Lead us to our destiny. This house is now on the way for the jump gate. The breeding of a new stationary Something weird happens here where um, Ramos's ship doesn't go through, and then you get another Ramos when you get there. I don't know what's going on there. It's something to do with the game storyline stuff. Uh, so you got here. I can't do anything with her now. She's like frozen there, and then she'll reappear when we get through the other side. We have bred a new stationary organism. Oh wait, that uh, that means we've built something. Yes, excellent. Our ship production has begun. Operation Get Us Out of This Mess has begun while we're progressing with the story. A new mutation of a Haaron is complete. Mm. It's like a busy system. But we, just before we get distracted by all the excitement, we better 
get busy. This Haaron will enter the orbit. There we go. <sighs> we are listening. Mm, look at all that. Ooh, this must be the master controller. Look at that. It's like a planet with a this huge thing around it. Cool. It's pretty cool looking. Also, I love that background as well. Beautiful nebula background. Yep, there's Ramos. I, sir, carrying out your new orders. Markov and his fleet have entered. Here we are, as promised. Just in time. Let's show the Confederation once and for all that their time has run out. There he is. What can we do for you, sir? Awaiting Markov. your orders. It's another battleship. Jonathan Daniels. Something is not right. The Ha'aron at the jump gate are in an uproar. What? Uh -oh. Nathan! What's happening? I'm paving the way for the Confederation to annihilate the Arthrox and all of their planets once and for all. After all, it would be annoying if you were still able to escape someplace following the fiasco you just steered your ships into. We will not make that mistake again. How long have... The usual question. The answer is, from the beginning. But uh, you should concentrate yourself more on the opponents in front of you. I'd be disappointed if you were to make it too easy for our sovereign. After all... I advised him to send a particularly large fleet to you. You don't want to make me look bad in front of you. Andre, Nathan Craig has betrayed us. Take enough of Iran and get to the Arthrox. You need to stop him before he can destroy their home worlds. That bastard. Because, you know, we I repeat, totally didn't see down. that coming. Ooh, look at that. It's moving. Now it's finished. What's going on? Room. Keep destroying these protective stations. We are listening. As you wish. We will attend to that now. Just to kill it while they're flying past. I've got a few. I love it. Particularly large fleet ready for us, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of scraps. Carson's fleet appeared at the jump gate. Eight, we'll manage seven. this here. But if the Confederation kills the Queens, the Arthrox will be wiped out forever. <laughs> to the entire fleet. Focus <laughs> yeah, your fire on the new fleet. ships and hold so formation. Commodore Daniel. I'm so delighted to see you. Regrettable that it will end like this for Captain Ramos and you. But at least I have the opportunity to thank you. Your betrayal fast tracked my promotion. We'll see whose end is to be regrettable. We were able to destroy an enemy unit. Challenge me, please. Should have said, while this mission is big, it is quite easy. Although you've got some big battles to fight at the end, but you you almost never get attacked for the whole mission. And yeah, moments like this are just yeah. There's no point. Even if we contain them here, we won't make it any closer to the controller. Carson has completely shielded it with his fleet. We can't give what up. Fleet. We'll never get an opportunity like this again. I know that, John. But pull your ships back. I'm gonna break through to the controller with the Pegasi module now. As soon as they see that, they'll concentrate the entire fleet's firepower on me. Use the opportunity to destroy as many of them as possible. Don't bother with the ships near me. They won't be able to cause me any damage once the shield is active. Command confirmed. Safety protocols failed. An allied ship has been destroyed. Oh dear. That was Ramos just going up then. What's happened? I don't understand. What's she done? Our destiny is in your hands. I'm gonna wait for these idiots to get to me. I'm gonna go.
go out and get them. <laughs> to the fleet. The controller is in range. To all ships, leave the system. I repeat, evacuate the system. No! Kasara, what are you planning on doing? I'm going to link up with the controller and detonate the whole damn thing. It's time to go, John. I can't allow that. Just do as much damage as possible and then I'll pull you out of there. You can't do that. The Confederation forces are too strong. You have to get yourself to safety. Otherwise, your ship and your crew will be destroyed with the controller. Kasara, no! Please! I'm not gonna leave you alone here to die. I'm not alone, John. I know that you'll be at my side. And now go! Safety protocols failed. Initiating control destruction. Oh, no. She sacrificed herself to destroy the controller. No but at what price? I would never have allowed her to sacrifice her life for us. I was so blind. She planned the whole thing from the beginning. I mean, she knew that our attack would fail. I would never have thought that the Pegasus shield would be so powerful. Who could have guessed that Kassara would actually sacrifice herself? Don't you dare speak of her, Nathan. You will not stop me. If I manage to exterminate an Arthrox tribe, Drex will forgive my miscalculation with the controller. I will not allow you to cause any further damage. Search for Craig and his fleet and system Kappa 2, 3, or 9. We had a super powerful shield. Why don't they just, you know, <laughs> why don't she just sit in the middle of the enemy fleet and blast them all if they can't hurt her? But anyway, let's not start digging into plot holes because this game's got way too many of them. Uh, so we're going to colonize this planet. And don't worry about rushing after Craig. He's very far away. There's a lot of systems between. I'm um, sorry. Yeah, Nathan. Craig, yeah. Um, uh, between us and him and uh, we're gonna colonize him so uh, and we'll get him with our fleet once we built it so uh, our starting fleet has done its duty it has opened the door to the rest of our uh, colonizable galaxy and there's a lot of it <sighs> ah right so look at all these lovely enemy planets we'll be able to uh, steal We've lost Rammels, but at least we've, I mean, look at this junk, we don't need this. Um, we've lost a battleship, but we've inherited a new one, because now we have Markov. I'm listening. So we'll continue on our way to, jump out to do some uh, exploring. Yes, he's in a nice battleship. He's got lots of science modules on him, which is fitting, since he said he was on a science vessel. And if I recall for my test game, he's got some very interesting weapons I'm looking forward to showing you guys later. We need your guidance. Excellent. Finally. We are our compliant. first planet stealing operation. A new mutation of a Ha'aron is complete. Not that it's a great planet, but it's a beginning. This Haran is listening. You can uh, continue on. 